Oh yeah, give me one of those. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and another freaking awesome pumpkin spice recipe. So first things first, something might look a little different in terms of the proteins that we're working with today. Now, if you guys have watched my Q&A video that was loaded up on Tuesday, you'll know that I had a small announcement that I'm now partnering up with Transparent Labs. I am super stoked and just completely excited about this partnership and really just looking forward to being able to help spread the awareness around trying to provide as clean of a supplement as possible, especially when it comes to the proteins that we all take in on a daily or just frequent basis, right? And I know a lot of my viewers and subscribers know that this channel has always been built off the premise of being better than yesterday. And while that's a message that I push out through my channel, it's also something that means very dear to me and is how I live my life personally. It's always one more rep in the tank, always something to learn in terms of life experiences and also ways for you to grow from a nutrition and diet standpoint. With that being said, guys, if you're interested in picking anything up, smash the code Jason and you'll get 10% off. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about some pumpkin spice donuts. So now that fall is actually here and it's officially pumpkin season or orange season or basic season, I figure, you know, we take the apple cider donut recipe that I did a couple videos back kind of tweak it a little bit and see if we could come out with a pretty solid pumpkin spice donut. And I can't forget to mention with an actual glaze. I'm super excited about this recipe because one, hey, we're gonna get some more pumpkin spice treats. And two, we're gonna test and see how these transparent labs proteins work in the kitchen. Cause hey, what better way to test things out than testing it with some anabolic recipes. So without further ado, let's get into the ingredients. All right, to start off in terms of dry ingredients, we're gonna use 120 grams of a all purpose flour. Then next up, we're gonna use 60 grams of a cinnamon pastry whey protein isolate. Yep, you heard that right, whey protein isolate. This is gonna be a great test to see how this holds up within the baking world. Next up, we're gonna use 20 grams of a granular sugar substitute. Now, just like I mentioned previously on the apple cider donuts recipe, make sure to look on the bottom or at the top for the actual name granular. Next up, we'll use four grams or essentially one teaspoon of a baking powder. Then next up, we're gonna use one teaspoon or essentially four grams of a pumpkin spice. Now. Feel free to spank this as hard as you like. If you want more than four grams and you want some more full flavor, give it a solid spank. And then we're gonna go ahead and top off this dry ingredient set with a dash of salt. So guys, once you got all the dry ingredients in, you're gonna go ahead and give this a good whisk for a few seconds, just making sure everything is incorporated very nicely. And then also making sure there's no clumps, right? We don't like clumps. And outside of that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the wet ingredients. So to start the wet ingredients off, we're gonna go ahead and use two whole large eggs, cause hey, we're always trying to get a little yoked. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and use 57 grams of an unsweetened applesauce. And next up, we've got 89 grams of a pure pumpkin. And a lot of you guys know that Libby's is one of my favorites to use just based off of full flavor and texture. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and use 28 grams of a Greek yogurt. Now, this is actually replacing the butter that was in the apple cider donut recipe. Next up, we've got the Elite of Vanilla Extracts. We're gonna go ahead and use half a teaspoon. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and use one tablespoon of a sugar-free maple syrup. So this is what the wet ingredients look like after being mixed. We're gonna go ahead and dump this into the dry ingredients. So guys, just as a reminder, before you guys start mixing everything up, it's probably a good idea to preheat your oven to 350 because we're gonna go ahead and leave it in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. So I want you guys to see what the batter is actually looking like. And again, just very similar to how the actual apple cider donut dough, quote unquote dough, looks like. It's more just like a real batter. It's definitely not super thick like an actual dough. So just make sure to keep that in mind while you're making it. Don't worry about it, you're not making a mistake. But we're gonna go ahead and put this into our donut tray now. So guys, while the donuts are being caressed by the Texas heat for the next 14 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves a donut glaze. Now, I know we've done a couple different iterations of 
donut frostings or cake frostings and you know, all by FDL. But I want to take a little bit of a different spin on the actual donut glaze. So we're going to try this new recipe out. It does not have protein in it in comparison to FDL's recipe. But if you guys want to try and do a protein frosting, go have at it, have a party with it. I figured this would be kind of a unique spin on the frostings or the glazes that we've done in the past. So first up, you're gonna go ahead and grab yourself a bowl or a measuring cup. So in terms of the first ingredient, you're gonna need a low calorie confectioner sugar. And just like I mentioned earlier in this video, there is a granular version and a confectioner version, both made by Swerve. So go ahead and we're gonna use half cup of the confectioner sugar. So in terms of the next ingredient, we're gonna go ahead and use half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And obviously you can use different types of extracts to give you a little subtleness to the flavor. So if you guys have a banana, I don't know if you guys are craving that, or maybe even caramel, what have you, but we're gonna go ahead and use a vanilla extract. And then next up, we're gonna use roughly about 30 grams of an unsweetened almond milk. So now that you got everything all mixed up, this is what the glaze is actually looking like. Definitely feel free to adjust the actual volume of the almond milk to your preference. You can definitely make it a lot more thicker, thinner, however you like, but this is what we're working with right now. And just as a reminder, guys, we're not gonna use this entire batch of glaze for the six donuts, okay? So we're only using just a fraction of this, and if you guys wanna change the volume amounts, feel free to go ahead and adjust to your liking. Oh guys, these are looking freaking epic. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the fridge just for a few minutes for the glaze to stiffen, and then I'll see you guys in a second. All right, fellas, we're back. We've got Copilot Cupcake here guiding us through the three categories. And for all of you new viewers, we get into the anabolics, taste, and whether or not these donuts are actually gonna satisfy your cravings or a pumpkin spice donut. So as we get into anabolics, the total calories and the macro breakdown for these pumpkin spice donuts are 166.5 total calories with a macro breakdown of 2.5 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, so just a slight smudge higher than the apple cider donut recipe, and then protein sitting at 13 grams, which is essentially one gram higher than the apple cider donuts. Now just taking a quick look at that macro breakdown, I think we're in a pretty good spot, right? So at the end of the day, we're saving ourselves a little bit of fat by switching out the butter with the actual Greek yogurt, which is kind of nice and I'm sure a lot of folks might appreciate that. But at the same time, if you guys don't really care too much about that additional fat, feel free to use the butter. You're definitely going to have a nice super moist donut and also probably gonna have something that's a little more airy in terms of texture. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the average pumpkin spice donut weighing in at roughly about 100 grams. Now, in terms of total calories, we're looking at 410 calories. That's for the average pumpkin spice donut. And on top of that, the macro breakdown is 18 grams of fat, holy smokes. All right, five grams of protein and 58 grams of carbs. So right off the bat, I'm pretty uh, to be honest, I'm pretty surprised by that. So that calorie and macro breakdown is for the average 100 gram pumpkin spice donut. Now, just to kind of give you an idea or for some perspective on how these donuts match up against the 100 gram pumpkin spice donut that you probably find at your general store or maybe even donut shop, each one of these actually weigh in roughly about 70 to 73 grams in total weight. So it's more than three quarters of the actual 100 gram donut. And I gotta say, we're in a really good spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid eight and a half. I think there's a lot of us that would still want to try and strive for a higher protein content. But at the same time, we wanna try and really balance out what the texture and overall consistency and flavor really come out, right? Because we really want to enjoy these at the same time. So there's gotta be a little bit of a balance. So before we get into the actual taste test, let's go ahead and dive into a close up so you guys can see what the overall glaze and donut looks like. So here we go, this is the overall donut. Definitely still has a pretty solid girth to it. I mean, take a look at that. Glaze on top is solidified after sitting in the fridge just for a few minutes. It's definitely got some density there, but that's what we're dealing with today. It's the front, that's the back. I put a little bit of pumpkin spice 
seasoning on top just to give that little extra touch to the overall donut. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the taste test. All right, so many donuts to choose from. Couldn't be a better day. All right, so let's go ahead and take a first bite. Cheers, boys. Holy smokes. Unreal. Unreal. So guys, I'm actually just trying the dough without the actual glaze on it. I'm really curious to see how this actually stands alone because this time around, we actually just dealt with the whey protein isolate. We didn't deal with a whey and casein mix, which most of our recipes have done extremely well with that mix, so. Wow. I gotta say, not bad. Not bad at all. That's, I'm impressed. I'm impressed, guys. So let's go ahead and do a quick close up so you guys can see what the actual inside is. So here's what the inside of the donut looks like. The donut definitely kept its moisture, which I'm really surprised about. There's not a whole lot of rubberiness to the actual donut. So that's a huge plus for me, especially knowing that I can use a whey protein isolate and not have to worry too much about having a mix. So now that you guys saw the inside of this donut, I kind of want to talk a little more about the actual texture and the overall consistency of this donut, especially in comparison to the apple cider donuts. Because for me, the apple cider donuts definitely slap super hard. Um, if you guys haven't tried that recipe, try it out. It's by Cheat Day Design, Instagram recipe builder, and he's got a ton of awesome recipes. And his overall mission is to really just provide you guys with a solid recipe that is well-rounded and it's not just heavily focused on trying to smash as much protein into those recipes as much as possible but also really trying to give you guys some great texture and overall consistency and very much reproducing something that it's going to be very close to what you would find at a normal grocery store so from that standpoint as i think about this donut i think in terms of overall taste i'm going to go and rate this as a solid eight and a half it's not to the same point as the apple cider donuts because that consistency was just on point. Now in terms of pumpkin flavor, it definitely comes out on the tail end. If you guys do have a pumpkin spice specific whey protein casing mix, I would highly recommend you guys use that because obviously that flavor is just going to be way more pronounced. But outside of that, this glaze is freaking awesome. You guys should try it out. If you guys don't like the cinnamon sugary goodness from the apple cider donuts, give this a shot. Hey guys, it's been about four to five days since the actual video of this was shot. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update on how these donuts have fared well the last few days. And then just a couple of notes on how I kind of tweaked the recipe or what my preferences were because I've made a couple of batches. And you know, I think it's important that you guys know what my personal best um, approach was to this recipe. So this is what the donuts actually look like after four to five days. I wanna say about five days. Glaze is still on point, the donuts definitely very much still intact and really holding the structure. Now I will say though from a rubbery or dryness factor, rubbery aspect I don't actually really see to be quite honest that there is a little bit of dryness in comparison to um, what we would see with a lot of other whey and casein baked treats that we've made. Um, so I think that's important to know, but that's also keeping in mind that we've used a whey isolate. So if you have a whey and casein mix, definitely use that because I would prefer to use that rather than using the whey protein isolate. And then on top of that, I would personally swap out the Greek yogurt for the butter. I think I would stick with the original recipe and just swap out for a pumpkin puree, right? And that's definitely gonna give you a very moist and cakey type of donut. And just, I think for me, if I had to pick one or the other, I would still side with the whey and casein mix along with butter in the recipe. Now, outside of that, something that I wanted to give you guys a quick update on, for those of you who haven't tried Transparent Labs, first thing is in terms of overall flavor, you're gonna know that there is a very significant difference in terms of overall sweetness. In terms of their whey proteins, you'll know that they sweeten their uh, products with stevia. And you know, from my experience, what I noticed from trying my proteins, which is one of my favorite brands as well, um, and then also PE Science, which has been great for our baking needs, there's definitely a significant difference in overall sweetness. So it just really goes to show for me how much sweetness or fillers are actually put into a lot of other um, whey proteins. So I just figured that that would be something for you guys to kind of mull over 
uh, if you guys are thinking about trying out different types of brands. So to kind of help you guys get your foot in the door in terms of learning more about Transparent Labs and kind of understanding how their proteins taste and you know whether or not you see this brand actually fitting with your own lifestyle and just your own pure enjoyment, right? Because you gotta enjoy the foods that you take in. We're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway for three lucky folks. And each one of you will receive one tub of a cinnamon pastry since that's the protein that we've been working with today. And in order to enter the contest, go over to my Instagram, take a look at this photo and follow the instructions. But otherwise we'll pick three lucky winners. And you guys will have an awesome tub of Transparent Labs. But otherwise, let's get back to the video. Now, is this gonna satisfy your craving? Oh man, oh, you definitely know it. These donuts will absolutely satisfy your sweet tooth. And hey, if you guys are craving a pumpkin spice donut, try this out. So from a craving standpoint, we're gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid nine and a half. Well guys, we just wrapped up the three categories, anabolics, taste, and craving for a total score of 8.8. Pretty solid rating if you ask me, especially for these pumpkin spice donuts. And you know, when I think about it, in comparison to your store-bought donut, man, there is a large difference in terms of total calories and the macro breakdown. Really surprised the hell out of me. So with that being said, guys, try this recipe out. Let me know what you guys think about it and what you guys did to switch things up to give you guys the consistency of the donut that you actually prefer. Now, I will say, if you guys actually do try the recipe for the apple cider donuts, just know that they are a little cakey and for me, that is my most absolute favorite recipe for protein donuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and post that video into the video card up on the right hand corner, left hand corner, one of the corners. But go ahead and check that video out. Highly recommend that recipe. But outside of that guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's anabolic pumpkin spice protein donut. But if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And outside of that, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed every ounce of pumpkin goodness this video had to offer, give this video a big fat like. Outside of that, guys, I appreciate you guys' continued support on this channel, and I'm looking forward to growing with you guys day by day. So with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.